some of the earlier uh, spiritualist stories, like your dad uh, seeing his wife in the crystal ball, and um, when they decided to leave the church or the spiritualist church for the Adventist church, and they said they were gonna their house was gonna blow or get burned down in their crops. You want that? Yeah. Okay. My grandmother and grandfather on my mother's side lived in Cadillac, Michigan. My grandfather had a used furniture store. He also sold ice um, for ice boxes and um, I'm not sure what else. But I know he had the furniture. Anyway, they moved from there to um, Segan, Michigan. And my grandfather and my uncle, my mother's brother, always worked in the trees. They were tree cutters and uh, made cut trees for, uh, to make paper. My grandmother got a job, it was during the war. My grandmother got a job, shirt factory, and uh, worked on the line. And my, I don't know what my grandfather did, if he was too old to do that or something, I don't know. Anyway, she had a lady working next to her. Uh, my grandmother's first name was Nellie. And the lady who worked next to her, name was Nell. Almost the same. Anyway, they got to be real good friends. And uh, now asked my grandmother, she says, you know much about the Bible? My grandmother said, well, yeah, a little bit. And uh, she said, I belong to the Nazarene Church. And um, she said, I also help out at the uh, Salvation Army when I can. The lady said, well, would you like to know more about the Bible? My grandmother thought for a minute and she said, well, it sure wouldn't hurt me. I um, I know I don't know at all. And uh, so they said, well, I'd like to give you some uh, Bible lessons, which she did. And my grandmother liked what she heard. It all came back from the Bible. And uh, when she got done, she told no, she said, I want to be baptized. And uh, so the lady said, well, you're ready, if you're ready to that baptize, you'll go faster and they'll take care of it. Which <clears throat> they did. She was baptized in the Seventh day church it's quite a few years ago. And uh, anyway, well, now, now I'll switch over to the other side because you gotta pull them together. Uh, my dad was one of uh, 14 children. Uh, his father had been a, a Catholic. His mother, his grandmother, had came from um, Spain, royal family, yeah. And um, she met my grandfather. He was a, what do they call it, mercenary? Mercenary. Uh, for Spain. And uh, so anyway, uh, as my father was Hello. growing up, or before that, uh, his father and them were Catholic. He met a man his age. Yes probably around your age, uh, in the season. And they got talking, and this man, young man, wanted to start a business making cement blocks for foundation houses. And uh, he said to my grandfather, Tony, would you like to go in business with me? And my grandfather said, yes, I, I think I would. They got well, talking more, and he, this guy told him all the benefits of being a, a worker for the church and stuff. And so anyway, my grandfather became a socialist. 
And as my father was going up one night, one morning, he felt, the bed, he felt something on the bed and it kept pushing him down, no. down, and taking his hair out of him. And uh, then all of a sudden it raised up. So he looked, looked, up, looked out of the, uh, the, from under the quilt and saw a big black cloud go up to the ceiling and disappear. He thought his uh, dad had come up and shook the bed, but it was something else that was his dad or anybody else doing that. Then uh, a couple years later, my uncle Alfred said, Del, come over here. My dad's name was Delman also. And um, so he was over, he said, look at this sister wall. See that girl in there? My dad said, yes, why? You're going to marry her. My dad laughed, laughed and he said, yeah, I, I'm going to marry her. I haven't even met her. Don't know who she is. And uh, Alfred said, I don't know either, but he said, it says you're going to marry her. Well, they forgot about it. And uh, a couple years later is when my grandma and grandpa and my mother and, and uncle moved to Muskegon. And uh, he met my mother somewhere, I'm not sure. But he said the first time he saw her, he looked. And he said, oh, that's the woman that he showed me in the crystal bowl. And uh, he put that aside. They fell in love and they got married. Okay, a few years afterwards, they, my dad and her had a, a used, not a furniture, but a used clothing type store. And uh, during the depression, they lost it. And anyway, they moved out to Nunica. That's near Muskegon, and it's just a little one-horse town. And uh, the little Nunica. farm in Nunica. I was five years old. We had turkeys, we had chickens, we had ducks, we had uh, billy goat and nanny goat. We had horses and cows. And uh, anyway, grandmother Nellie asked Nell if she would give my dad and his wife uh, Bible lessons. And uh, she said, yeah, I uh, see why not. My grandma says, oh, I want to tell you, they're spiritualists. And I uh, says, oh, okay. She said, they seem a little nervous, but yes, I'll, if they want them, I'll give them. And, uh, so, <clears throat> my grandmother asked my dad if they would take lessons. And my dad says, oh, yeah, I will take lessons. But don't say one word against the spiritualism, my church or anything, or you're out of here. And so now I said, well, okay, fair enough. And <clears throat> so they started their lessons, and they got to five, six, seven, somewhere in there. And uh, Nell skips one because it was to do with the day they keep, uh, they don't keep Saturday. <laughs> and so uh, my dad said, hey, wait a minute, you skipped an old lesson. And the lady, Nell said, yes, I did that on purpose. You said not to say one word against your church. And he said, well, I've heard everything now and I sure don't want to miss any. And so, <clears throat> uh, you know, I had and gave him the lessons. And when they were done, my dad was so impressed. So my mother, I said, we've got to join, we've got to join this church. So they should. And, <clears throat> They did. They, they became so as this. Well, then, in the meantime, sometime before that, I'm back just a little bit. 
My grandfather became a minister of the church. And some of my aunts and uncles, they got word back to the church, the specialist church. And the first thing my dad knew, there was three people up there to talk to him. And they said, now we heard some bad news. They said, you joined, left our church and joined another church. And my dad said, yeah, that's right. And uh, they said, you can't do that, you know. My dad said, well, you mean I can't do it? I already did it. They said, well, you have to, but you can't. You can't do it. And my dad said, well, I'm not going to. He said, well, let's talk to, uh, I don't know, somebody, one of the church members. Nobody, got any, <coughs> nobody was making any headway with him because he was determined. And so they say, well, you got to change your mind. We'll give you two weeks. And at the end of that two weeks, if you haven't done anything, we will do something. In the meantime, he went on with the farming and so forth. Everything was normal. They said, we'll be back in two weeks. You had better have changed your mind or else. So when they came back, probably around six of them, which I suppose was part of his family and plus other church members and uh, head, head members. And they um, said, well, have you changed? My dad said, oh, no, I'm not changing. They said, well, you, you're absolutely sure you're not going to change? And my dad said, yes. They said, okay, this is what's going to happen. Say so on October 14, your um, farmer's going to burn. Your wife's going to burn up in the fire. Um, and that's all they said. They, they left. And uh, it, 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 they came and it didn't burn. So later I asked my dad when he heard about the story. I asked him, what would have happened, Dad, if you would have um, been afraid and, and come close to buckling in or... He said if, if, uh, if I would have believed that it would have happened and when they said why... what makes you think it won't happen? My dad said because God is stronger than Satan. And uh, maybe that's when I was five. When I was five years old, I had never heard anything about Jesus in that church. Oh. That's, that's that one. Thank I fell asleep and lost by my cookie. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs>